So today we're going to show you the differences in between Italian and American. Um, what kind of store is this? Like it's it's like Lowe's. Where you buy stuff like Lowe's and what's it called? Um, yeah, the hardware store. Okay, wait, let's do it again. So today we're going to show you some of the differences we noticed in between American and Italian hardware stores. So this store is called Leroy Merlin. I always want to say Leroy Jenkins. This is Leroy Merlin and there's some really cool differences in between here and say Lowe's or Home Depot in the States. So from the outside it doesn't look much different than the hardware stores in the States, but I will point out that there is a parking garage underneath the store, so that's definitely different. And out front you'll see Italian barbecues instead of the shiny metal ones that you would see if you were going to a hardware store in America. These are definitely sturdier and made of a form of cement, and you don't use propane, but you would use wood, of course, for these barbecues. So now let's go inside to one of David's favorite places. These are the doors. They don't just have a few doors, they have rows and rows of doors. And he loved to go in and try them out, all the different handles, and we had a little bit of a game of where is David? I like it. I know it's pretty big, it's four floors. In addition to a huge selection of usable doors, they also had a large selection of Rolladens, which are a metal rolling shade in Europe that are often used for energy efficiency as well as protection. Probably my favorite thing was the cafe. They actually have an honest to goodness cafe where they will make you a cappuccino or an espresso in the middle of the store and you can have a seat and talk about your plans for your home renovation while enjoying a scone at the same time. It's amazing. It could be in different in different stores, but this one didn't have as much wood as say like Lowe's or Home Depot. Here almost everybody has a gated house or apartment and so there are a lot more like phone options to buzz people in than I've seen in the states. A lot more security options having to do with gates. They're getting ready for Christmas so they have it all cordoned off so that nobody's messing with it until they're ready for it to be able to be sold. Outside, there was a very, very large outdoor garden center, and I was pretty impressed by the size of it actually, but it was similar to that of Home Depot. Except here you can drive your car into the area to pick up your items after you've purchased them. Door handles don't have the lock mechanism in them already. You have to buy the lock mechanism separately. This is the lock like we had at our Airbnb in Rome. Then you have to do that to unlock the last one so you can open the door. So of course since we live in Italy another major difference is next to the toilets you will see bidets for sale. A bidet is basically like a sink. It's an alternative to toilet paper and it sits right next to the toilet. So use your imagination with that. I love how they set up the different fake bathrooms because honestly they look pretty real and you could definitely, uh, you didn't have to use much imagination to see it in your house. I'm wondering though, um, I believe Italy is the only country that uses a bidet regularly as a majority, but I'm not sure. Do you know of any other countries in Europe that do that? I know I have a friend who had a bidet at her house when she bought a house in the US, but I didn't know of any others because it doesn't seem to have caught on to many different places. Their showers there are pretty amazing. Uh, there's even a built-in chair in this shower, but you can hook up your um, radio, um, you can listen to music, there were so many different spigots for the water, there were lights. Definitely a cool idea. If you're ever looking for a shower, I would, this would be my first choice for a shower. 
Well, that was our quick trip to the hardware store. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below to let me know what you would like to learn about Italy. And I hope to get more Twitter Talk videos out soon. Buona giornata. So what did you think about Leroy Merlin? It was fun. What's different between Le Leroy Merlin and Lowe's or Home Depot? They have pools and hot tubs all year round, but they don't. You can't say they that many times. That store does not have pools and hot tubs all the way, all the way around, but um, the other two do.